I'm go ahead and put your feet in. Listen, listen. You're gonna go to jail tonight, okay? I don't okay? want to talk to you, please, sir. I you're... want to talk to you. Please. I know what you're gonna say. You want to go home tonight, but that's not possible. <laughs> I was driving down the street when I observed a car pass me with only one headlight. I turned around to initiate a traffic stop. I walk up, I state who I am, who I work for, why he's pulled over. I was really nervous the whole time. I felt I should pull him out of the vehicle. I asked him if he had any narcotics or firearms inside the car, to which he stated no. I'll say. No? You sure? Yeah, I'll pass. All right, you mind if I search your car? I, I do mine. Cause you do our, mine? This is our car. This is our car. Okay. This is our car. So I, I don't know. This is our car. So All right. Just hang tight right here, okay? This is our car. All right. Car. I know. It's her car, right? Yes. Yeah, All right. You told me. Whenever you walk up to a, a vehicle, you need to go with the thought in your head that there's possibly a firearm in the car, especially with somebody acting as nervous as he was. Uh, the, the female passenger, she was very nervous. Uh, she was also shaking. She was stuttering her words a little bit. Uh, very hesitant on me getting into the car. No, I do not give you consent to search the car. Okay. Is there a reason why you don't want me to search your car? No, there's no reason. If you have a little bit of drugs in here, we can work with that. I'm more concerned about firearms. Do you want to wait for the K9 unit to get here? And if we get a positive hit for any kind of narcotics or guns, that's going to give me probable cause to search your car. I don't care if you search the car. So you give me verbal consent? Yeah. While searching the vehicle, um, I was searching the front passenger seat. I looked in the glove box, didn't find anything. And as I looked between the front passenger seat and the center console, I had observed the butt of the pistol sticking out of a black velvet bag. We have a firearm. Which is gonna be within reach of the, the driver. And it's loaded. One in the chamber. I showed her the pistol and she stated that the pistol was not hers. His story was he had no knowledge that the pistol was there, but when I had advised him that I found a pistol, his answer to me was, well, the pistol wasn't under my seat. So whenever I told him that I didn't say where I found the pistol, he kind of clammed up and, and restated his statement. I asked you if, you were, if there was any Handguns or narcotics? And hold on, hold on, wait, wait. I, I act, but now you're saying the gun wasn't under your seat. You say, you say, you say you found a gun. In the I car. said I found a gun in the front seat. Okay. Within your reach, and then you started telling I me. I said where? where? I, you never said where. You started getting defensive and where? saying it wasn't under my seat. So that leads me to believe no, that you no, knew that that no, pistol I, was I, under I, the I, seat. I'm in car. This is not my car. I'm not in car. The passenger came back clean. She had some prior convictions, but it wasn't what I was looking for. The driver, on the other hand, did have prior narcotics convictions, and he's a documented gang member. In the state of Texas, if you're a documented gang member, you're not allowed to possess a firearm. So with that, he was placed in custody for a lawful carry of a weapon. Point one out to me, because I'm not seeing what you're seeing. See how they're crushed in? So that's it? It could be, or a stem. That could be a fiber optic or a seed. A fiber optic seed? No, fi a fiber optic line, and yeah. I've even got... Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of what they are. Yes, sir, so Very aware. 